Hello guys, my name is Almost Addicted and today I'm going to show you how to build this beautiful modern house. That's right. Right, so what you'll need is everything's in the inventory here. Why does someone text me every time I do this? So you can pause it. You can look at all these items here. Look, I'm just scrolling through them so you can see the names. Uh, make sure you slap that like button and subscribe because I've spent a long time editing this and a long time putting this together for you guys and hopefully enjoy it, you know? Hopefully enjoy it. Uh, hopefully it's step by step, it's easy, it's easy to follow tutorial. Let's do this. I think we should do it. Yeah? Okay. Right, so first we'll need our quartz. We'll count one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. So that's all lots of three. And then we go on the inside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then we just fill all the way up to the top. Look at that, super speed. Ain't no messing around here. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Yeah, I think it's uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, let's do that. The 16 to that way, the right, and then one, two, three. And then build it up so that's one facing inwards like that, and then just fill it up to this top like that. Stop calling me, goddammit, please! I don't need you in my life! And then one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, all the way to the top like that. I swear to God, if it rings one more time, I'm gonna. One, two, three, four. And then just fill this all the way to the top. Just like that. Just remember you can pause at any time, so if it's too quick or you don't know where things go, you can always pause it. Right, so we get our grey wool now, and we just fill it to the top like that. There's four pieces, one, two, three, four, and then we get our quartz out. One, two, three, four. This is just for the ground, and then we get our grey wool out again. One, two, three, four. So just remember if it's going too fast, I'll keep pausing it. Well, I can't pause it because I'm not in your house. One, <laughs> two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four, up to the top. Because it's on the top, and put it all the way across here like this. And then we go one out, one, counting that one, two, three, four. And we just join it up. And then we're going to fill all this in at the top. You can see those grey walls at the top because later on we use them as markers to mark out the, the top of the roof. Right, so we at the right hand side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just like that. And then we just fill this all in till it meets the other side. There we go. Just about there. Now we're gonna get the this end side over there. And we're gonna bring it all the way across so it joins the other side. So we'll bring this other side along as well. So we keep moving these until they, they meet in the middle. Just like that. Beautiful. So will join up like that. And then what we're gonna do is fill the whole thing. So you start off by filling it all in. I'll speed it up for you guys, I'll just do it quickly. So you can pause at that point, then you build it and then come come back to this point. Right, so we count one, two, three, four. This is the the right hand side, and then we go one, two, three up, maybe four up like that, and then we do the same on the other side. So this is the front right hand side. This is the back now, left hand side. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And they messaged again. I swear I'm going to kill these people. Who are they? It's some Illuminati things going on. Right, so we fill this. Fill this all the way to the top, like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Who's counting? You don't need to because there's a marker there. Look at that. So you go to the end of the marker, just delete all these bits. And then we've got all the way across like this and we're gonna get the other side to join as well. So we just bring this all the way along till it meets the other side and get them to join like that. Good job we put those markers there. Always thinking ahead. Right, so now we fill in the top of this, just completely fill it all in so it'll look like that. I know I'm a fast builder. 
now we get these markers and now we can put them to good use and use them as the boulders boulders barriers i don't know pillars that's the one boulders what the hell am i on about just put the boulders down that's right right and then we fill this this is the front side so we're filling if you're facing the building it's the front right hand side so we're facing it now as you can see there and then we fill this in so there's a one space in the middle we're gonna put glass in that one so this is the front side now we got our grey wool put one two three there and one two three there just like that beautiful now I'm on the inside starting from the the grey wool one two three you just cover the back of it now we're gonna replicate exactly what's on the other side there so I think I put two here but really it's three away so it's three one two three there so you count one two three from the top roof and join it up like that and then we replicate exactly what's on the front so we put this black wool grey wool sorry just making sure all the time that it's on point I mean even if you go wrong here it doesn't really matter because um, you know the way the building the back of the building is different anyway so one two three four and then we fill all that in and then we've got our one gap and then we fill all this in should just fill that all the way to the top just like that those damn boulders again so that's what it should look like so far so this is the front of the building and this is the back so this is the back of the building now we count one two three going up level with that and then we go in one two three four five six seven eight and it should meet up with the ninth one with grey wool as, at the other side it should meet up with the grey barriers one two three four with the quartz and then the grey we're just replicating exactly what's on the other side for these wool bits one two three four and then we've got the wool going up there just like that just like that now we bring this wall up I want this wall completely filled this is going to be the kitchen area in there and um, I've just kind of done a simple furniture sort of thing for you guys and um, I've left a room on top I'm gonna to leave that unfurnished so you can do whatever you like now you fill this layer all the way around it's just half slab of quartz going all the way around so it's just on that top layer and it should look like that so it'll just have a rim going all the way around and we do the same on the top part so we go all the way around just fill it all in all the way around so it should have like a little lip where the the quartz is on the top so it'll look like that just remember you keep pausing you know if you're stuck you can always rewind it re re rewind that's right now we get our glass panes and we're gonna fill these ones these are on the the back and these ones we're gonna make little doors out of them so we just put two up at each side just put them going up this is um, the black glass panes but you can use normal glass panes and here we just fill it all in but this next one we are going to use we're gonna break these because I want to make a cool little door so we put two like that and then when we put a fence post in which is the oak fence post it just looks like a little sliding door which I think looks quite cool and we do exactly the same replicate what you've done on the other side so I'll just get rid of this bit because I'm just freestyling all this it's completely freestyle so I haven't planned it out or anything like that so it's, I've just gone straight away with it and see what I could build and I came up with this so and there so now what we want to do is fill these top parts in get the glass going on that I think I'm gonna do some open sliding doors on the the big bit we'll try this no let's see it doesn't look as good I mean you can do that if you do like it but I'm not too keen myself so you don't put it all the way across to this because we're gonna put some sliding doors but this is just to find a center because you'll waste glass just like that 
and then you put your fence post in at each side and it looks like those sliding doors that you can get so I think that looks quite good we do exactly the same on this side just fill it with glass yeah make sure you comment below uh, what you want to see next and what tutorials you want to see next and if you like this tutorial if you think it was too fast or too slow you know I'm trying to go as slow as possible so you know you guys don't get lost and you, you can always keep pausing right so we'll get some grass we're gonna do like uh, a place for sugarcane count one two three four five and on the fifth we put it there so it's level with the boulders the pillars and then we count one two three so level with that pillar one two three four and then put the grass block down so we put three lines we're gonna join it up and we're gonna put some water in the middle for our sugarcane and stuff like that bum, 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 bum. Beautiful. Right. So we'll get our quarter stairs and run it all the way around. So it should look like that. Then we'll get our bucket of water. We need to get some water. Right, that's looking nice, I think. Yeah. Let's get that water out and just fill it all the way up. So you could use this for a survival, but probably most people who do this for creative but it's, it's all up to you if you want to adapt this so it's your survival I've left a room upstairs I furnished downstairs but this room with the sliding doors up here I've left it completely empty so you guys can maybe turn it into a storage room do you know to keep all your your stuff for survival if there is some survival players out there and yeah it's all up to you so I've kind of left it so you've got some decorations downstairs with a kitchen there's some furnaces and stuff like that and another part you know that you can adapt yourself and turn it into your own build right so now I'm gonna do like a roof design and uh, we want some like air vent kind of things so we start here and you put like three across there's a two gap from the front facing and there's two gap all the way around see that two gap two gap and then it's just three and then join it all the way up like that and we do exactly the same on the other side it's just a replica so we count one two and then on the third so as you can see there's two there two that side and then it's three by however long and then you should have like a, a nice space in the middle and then you can either use the the iron and um, trap doors which will be expensive but in your creative you can but you can use the the wooden ones as well so it just all depends so I've, I've done both of them so you guys can see now I think we should get some plant pots I really like the yellow clay for plant pots I just think it looks really nice with modern builds I don't know what it is that mustard color just it looks lovely I don't like mustard though I'm not a mustard fan I don't like it it burns my mouth who wants to eat that nobody if you're a mustard fan I'm sorry but you you were born with like weird taste buds it's not it's not normal it's like I'll just munch on this dog turd and see how I feel about that I think I need therapy All right so we get some bushes on there beautiful right now I think we should do a little trim so we'll get our um, slab stone slab and run it all the way around so it just kind of looks like you've got your flower pots that are like you know half thick and run it all the way around the side to join up just like that looking okay, nice I've left the gardens open as well for you guys to do however you like if you want a swimming pool or something like that now we get some spruce wood and we start at the beginning of the grey wool and end at the beginning like that and do two strips and do it three high just like that fill it all the way up to the top I'm going to take some chunks out of it. What I usually do is make a big chunk like that and then you can design it. So at either end count one, two, three, four. So for those bits and then we should probably put it to the bottom as well so it makes like a little bridge kind of thing. Just like that. So we'll do it for this side. Oops. Oh dear. Right there we go. And then we count one, two and just put a little doorway there. One, two like an in cove kind of thing this is going to be the doorway we're going to do a doorway here we might put like a birch doorway or something like that and then we put these all the way up one two three four 
and count them up one two to join just like that that's looking really nice now we get our half slab of quartz and we start from the grey wool and we just run it all the way around and we want to fill in these little bits as well so I mean you can leave them open and um, you could maybe do like little cross bits where it looks like this little air vents underneath there just whatever you prefer like at the end of the day you want to kind of adapt it so it's kind of your build as well so it's not just copying so you're kind of getting inspiration from the build so you can always add to this build and stuff like that I'd love to send some pictures over on Instagram or Twitter if you you make a garden to this or something like that and you, you adapt it right so we fill in this wall this is the front of the building just fill in the wall like that beautiful now we'll break this all the way through this is going to be a doorway I think for this floor I think what I'm going to do is do maybe a birch floor I really like the birch floor um, in a modern build I think it looks really nice so we'll try that we'll put um, in these in coves we'll put our clay yellow clay and then we put some bushes on top of it as well I'll just see, see I'll just play around with ideas and see what works and stuff like that so I'll put some across here put some around here to join it and then um, I think I'll bring these out one more the, the spruce just like that the doorway just bring those out and join them on yeah I think that looks good so yeah you can adapt it how you want you could maybe go, make it stepping down in the garden have some steps going round uh, I'm just going to put a bush all the way around it for you guys because I want you guys to try and get creative and send send me some stuff over on Twitter and you know see what you've done um, and then we get this and if it's good and I like it I'll retweet it out for you guys and stuff like that I'll probably retweet it out anyway if it's good or not but yeah we get bushes either side just like that just to fill it up I think that's looking rather nice rather nice so even if you want to do the inside yourself or anything like that but we're gonna get the birch floor so you can pause it now I'll just do it quickly there it's all done so it's a bit dark in here it's a bit dingy but you can do it however you like if you want just a plain house like this and just fill it with chests you know why not right let's see what we can do right so we'll fill the top because the roof roof of loof what the hell's with loof the roof will be leaking so we start it from the beginning there and then just fill it all the way up so just I'll speed it up zoom 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 like that so you've just got a little edge there and that'll just stop the roof leaking in from the the garden on the roof that damn leaky roof again we count one two one two on the second one we put it there this is the gray wool and we put it through so we count one two and another gap oh my god I just made a hole in my beautiful new house and then gray one two one two so we just fill these all the way to the top just like that take the take the this slab out on the roof so it fits and then we bring it out one more we take that slab out so we do the same for all of these steadily does it that's right god damn hurry up just like that and then what we need now is some glowstone we'll get some glowstone we'll put it behind light it up I think we should do some light glitches and stuff like that I think it'll look quite cool so you can keep it dark but I will light it up later this is gonna go dark in a minute because I'm gonna fill it up so you fill it up half slab like this and it gives it a really really nice ambient effect so you put it on like that as soon as you've got all three of them on you'll you'll see how much it changes it does change the color a hell of a lot it looks really nice just like that oh tuffle magnifique magnifique and then we get this filled in and then we put three along the bottom like that and then we put half slabs there joining on another three and we put one on top and then two either side like that so it looks like it's the whole back wall we'll do the same for this but we'll fill it in this little hole that we left here there we go one two one two one two right now we'll get the yellow clay again and we'll use that for the plant pots right, let's put two there and then we'll get our bush get that bush on get that bush 
Everybody loves a bit of bush. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, I think that looks quite nice. So you could leave it open part plan. It could be a whole big living room. But I'm just going to do a kitchen within this bit. So we'll join it on. One, two, three, four. And the other side's five. But I'm going to have to. Yeah. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Get rid of that. And then we join it to the top. Put it all the way across. This is going to be like the, the divider between the kitchen and the living room. So now we'll do the kitchen. The kitchen. No, we're not. Yes, we are. I don't know. What do we do? The kitchen, of course. Right, so now what we're going to do is going to get there. Hmm. We could do something for the roof as well. We could do one of those fan things coming down. We could probably use that with the hopper. Let's have a look. We could do this as well. This is, we'll just light it up here. Obviously I'm using redstone things. If you're using something else, if you're in survival, you can use a redstone torch and just put it underneath. It's a lot cheaper. Instead of having to make them into massive blocks. Who would do that? Crazy man. A crazy man with no use for redstone whatsoever. He made a redstone lamp once and he's like ah I've got plenty I'm rich and just bang all these down just completely glitch out my world so hopefully you get little tips from this you don't have to do it exactly like this but this is just an idea for people who are starting up or people who just want a little bit of inspiration what to do and um, so right I think this is a really good idea right we get doors and we put them here and they look like little cupboards so we'll get like some um, we'll get some furnaces and put them behind here so when you open up the little doors which will only look like a half door and it'll look like a little cupboard you'll see in a minute so I'll put the furnaces here and you can still cook in these and put the doors behind here and when you put something on top of it it just looks like a half drawer you know so instead of using it for a normal door I think maybe it's a little bit of inspiration for you there maybe we'll fill this up and uh, we'll fill it up to the top so We'll delete the other side as well, so we've just got like a three in there, so it matches the other side as well, so get rid of that. I mean, you can keep it like that, so you've got even more places to cook with your furnace. So as you can see, it looks exactly the same as that side. So then you can open up your drawers, and then you can cook your stuff in there. All right, so we've got some oak um, stairs and put them there. Now for this middle bit, let's see. We'll get our oak wood, oak plank, sorry. And then we get stairs as well, so we get them like that. It's just in the middle of the kitchen. Doesn't doesn't have to be exactly here. And then just a, a little ingot like that, and it looks like a little sink. And then we get a little lever and put a lever on the side. It looks like a little tap going into it. And then I know it's expensive, but you can put a hopper on here, and it kind of looks like um, it's one of those fan things or something like that. So let's see, we'll get some pressure plates now. We'll put some pressure plates on here, here and here, here and here. And then we'll put them all along here, just like a, a little cabinet thing. Yeah, it's looking rather nice. Right, should we get some carpet? Let's get some carpet down. Let's get some uh, light gray carpet. And then we'll put two here, two rows, and then run it all the way around. Just so it's like an odd carpet. It's, everything doesn't have to be even all the time there's quite a lot of people with OCD on Minecraft you uh, a lot of the better builders would build like completely just obscure and especially with placing your bushes and stuff so we put some carpets on top of there put some on top of this pressure plate and it just looks like it's like a little drawer you could probably do it in the dark gray as well so it'd match the the wall so I think that's okay with the kitchen I'm just doing this a really quick sort of um, you know lounge and kitchen and stuff like that if you, you look at some of my other videos I've got like some kitchen and living room designs I'll put them in the description and there's a little video and I've got like five different setups where I've got like um, just elaborate kitchen designs and bathroom designs and stuff like that so I'll put that in this, the description for you guys I'm also working on another project as well which is a crazy let's build series where I will build at my best ability for whatever you guys want me to build 
so I'll put that in the description as well. At the moment I've built a full home cinema, it's huge, absolutely elaborate, completely massive and yeah you guys just comment below what you want it to be next like maybe oh, I want a bowling alley or I want something like this and I'll make it and you guys get to be there every step of the way and get to um, tell me what you want. So um, we get this grey wool and we get the black wool as well for a plasma TV. You could keep it small as well. We can get some item frames here as well. And we could maybe get some discs. If you haven't got the discs or any in your survival world, you could probably use some coal. As I think probably look pretty much the same. Just like that, we've got our speakers. We've got our red couches there, which is the half slab. Put some little tables with the red clay. I think I was talking over that. And then we get some uh, red carpet. Fill that in. Beautiful. You can change the carpet colour, you could maybe do it in a grey, I think it would look nice in a grey or maybe a white carpet or something like that. It's just all about changing it around, you could probably get, get some uh, decorations on the walls, maybe some picture frames and stuff like that wherever you guys want them to be. So yeah, so obviously you can go in here, you've got all your stuff going down in there. Looking lovely, looking lovely. Right, so we get some chests there, you can put some chests there, you can put whatever you like there. You can maybe put your crafting tables there so you can craft and you can make this into a usable survival house even though it doesn't look that usable but you still can use it. We'll get some birch doors and we'll put them on here just like that. Right let's have a look. That's looking really nice now. Make sure you comment below, subscribe and all that other stuff, it really does help and wait till the end I'm still doing this there's still like loads more detail to add so we'll get the bushes obviously you can make a swimming pool in the back garden or something like that or anything you'd like and then we uh, this is the front we take out three of those quartz there and we get the stone stairs and once what we do with the stone stairs we put three across there and we put three across at the back and just layer it up like that and it gives a cool design so one two three like that we put them there and there so it should look like that and then we put some at the back so it just keeps in with the design right now I think what we need is maybe we should get some glass some black paint glass you can obviously use the normal glass as I said before and uh, we just run this all the way around I think it'll complete the building and it'll look really really nice to so get this all the way along let's have a test we put it there or there I kind of like both of them I kind of like both so I'm gonna yeah kind of like that so get it all the way across put it all the way at the other side like this looking really nice really really nice look at that look at it I respect it there we go just with the finished product let's have a little look around look at that Oh yes. Hello, yes, I'm Rich. So obviously, yeah, this bit here left it completely blank, blank for you guys. It's a blank canvas. You can do whatever you like with it. You could maybe turn it into a games room, a survival room. It could be a bedroom. It could be anything, just completely anything. And there we go, guys. I hope you like this. Make sure you slap that like button. Subscribe. You guys are awesome. I'm going for a sandwich. I'm hungry. Okay, okay, no I'm not. I need it. Need and it looks like those sliding doors that you can get. So I think that looks quite good. We do exactly the same on this side. Just fill it with glass. Yeah, make sure you comment below uh, what you want to see next and what tutorials you want to see next and if you like this tutorial, if you think it was too fast or too slow, you know, I'm trying to go as slow as possible so, you know, you guys don't get lost and you, you can always keep pausing. Right, so we'll get some grass. We're, we're going to do like uh, a place for sugarcane count. One, two, three, four, five. And on the fifth, we put it there. So it's level with the boulders, the pillars. And then we count one, two, three. So level with that pillar, one, two, three, four. And then put the grass block down. So we put three lines. We're going to join it up and we're going to put some water in the middle for our sugar cane and stuff like that. Bum, 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 bum. 
Beautiful. Right. So we'll get our quad stairs and run it all the way around. So it should look like that. Then we'll get our bucket of water. We need to get some water. Right, that's looking nice, I think, yeah. Let's get that water out and just fill it all the way up. So you could use this for a survival, but probably most people who do this for creative. But it's, it's all up to you if you want to adapt this so it's your survival. I've left a room upstairs. I've furnished downstairs, but this room with the sliding doors up here, I've left it completely empty so you guys can maybe turn it into a storage room, do you know, to keep all your, your stuff for survival if there is some survival players out there and yeah it's all up to you so I've kind of left it so you've got some decorations downstairs with a the kitchen there's some furnaces and stuff like that and another part you know that you can adapt yourself and turn it into your own build right so now I'm gonna do like a roof design and uh, we want some like air vent kind of things so we start here and you put like three across there's a two gap from the front facing and there's two gap all the way around See that? Two gap, two gap. And then it's just three, and then join it all the way up like that. And we do exactly the same on the other side, it's just a replica. So we count one, two, and then on the third. So as you can see, there's two there, two that side. And then it's three by however long. And then you should have like a, a nice space in the middle. And then you can either use the, the iron um, trap doors, which will be expensive, but in your creative you can't, but you can use the, the wooden ones as well. So it just all depends. So I've, I've done both of them, so you guys can see. Now I think we should get some plant pots. I really like the yellow clay for plant pots. I just think it looks really nice with modern builds. I don't know what it is, that mustard colour. It just it looks lovely. I don't like mustard though. I'm not a mustard fan. I don't like it, it burns my mouth. Who wants to eat that? Nobody. If you're a mustard fan, I'm sorry, but you you were born with like weird taste buds. It's not it's not normal. It's like I'll just munch on this dog turd and see how I feel about that. I think I need therapy. Right, so we'll get some bushes on there. Beautiful. Right now I think we should do a little trim so we'll get our um slab stone slab and run it all the way around so it just kind of looks like you've got your flower pots that are like you know half thick and run it all the way around the side to join up just like that looking nice I've left the gardens open as well for you guys to do however you like if you want a swimming pool or something like that now we get some spruce wood and we start at the beginning of the grey wool and end at the beginning like that and do two strips and do it three high just like that fill it all the way up to the top I'm gonna to take some chunks out of it what I usually do is make a big chunk like that and then you can design it so at either end count one two three four so for those bits and then we should probably put it to the bottom as well so it makes like a little bridge kind of thing just like that so we'll do it for this side oops Oh dear. Right, there we go. And then we count one, two, and just put a little doorway there. One, two. It's like an in-cove kind of thing. This is going to be the doorway. We're going to do a doorway here. We might put like a birch doorway or something like that. And then we put these all the way. One, two, three, four. And count them up. One, two, to join. Just like that. Hello guys, my name is Almost Addicted and today I'm going to show you how to build this beautiful modern house. That's right. Right, so what you'll need is everything's in the inventory here. Why does someone text me every time I do this? So you can pause it. You can look at all these items here. Look, I'm just scrolling through them so you can see the names. Uh, make sure you slap that like button and subscribe because I've spent a long time editing this and a long time putting this together for you guys and hopefully you enjoy it, you know? Hopefully you enjoy it. Uh, hopefully it's step by step, it's easy, it's an easy to follow tutorial. Let's do this. I think we should do it. Yeah? Okay. 
Right, so first we'll need our quartz. We'll count one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So that's all lot of three. And then we go on the inside, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And then we just fill all the way up to the top. Look at that, super speed. Ain't no messing around here. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I think it's uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, let's do that. The 16 to that way, the right, and then one, two, three. And then build it up so that's one facing inwards like that, and then just fill it up to this top like that. Stop calling me, goddammit, please! I don't need you in my life! And then one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, all the way to the top like that. I swear to God, if it rings one more time, I'm gonna one, two, three, four, and then just fill this all the way to the top. Just like that. Just remember, you can pause at any time, so if it's too quick or you don't know where things go, you can always pause it. Right, so we get our grey wool now, and we just fill it to the top like that. There's four pieces, one, two, three, four, and then we get our quartz out, one, two, three, four. This is just for the ground, and then we get our grey wool out again, one, two, three, four. So just remember, if it's going too fast, I'll keep pausing it. Well, I can't pause it, because I'm not in your house. One, <laughs> two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, up to the top. Because it's on the top, and put it all the way across here like this and then we go one out one counting that one two three four and we just join it up and then we're gonna fill all this in at the top you can see those grey walls at the top because later on we use them as markers to mark out the the top of the roof right so we at the right hand side one two three four five six seven just like that and then we just fill this all in till it meets the other side there we go just about there now we're gonna get the this end side over there and we're gonna bring it all the way across so it joins the other side so we'll bring this other side along as well so we keep moving these until they they meet in the middle just like that beautiful It'll join up like that and then what we're going to do is fill the whole thing so you start off by filling it all in I'll speed it up for you guys I'll just do it quickly so you can pause at that point then you build it and then come come back to this point right so we count one two three four this is the the right hand side and then we go one two three up maybe four up like that and then we do the same on the other side so this is the front right hand side this is the back now left hand side one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four and they messaged again I swear I'm gonna kill these people who are they it's some Illuminati things going on as right, so we fill this fill this all the way to the top like that one two three four five six seven eight who's counting you don't need to because there's a marker there look at that so you go to the end of the marker just delete all these bits and then we've got all the way across like this and we're going to get the other side to join as well so we just bring this all the way along till it meets the other side and get them to join like that good job we put those markers there always thinking ahead right so now we fill in the top of this just completely fill it all in so it'll look like that I know I'm a fast builder now we get these markers and now we can put them to good use and use them as the boulders. Boulders? Barriers? I don't know. Pillars? That's the one. Boulders? What the hell am I on about? Just put the boulders down. That's right. Right, and then we fill this. This is the front side. So we're filling... If you're facing the building, it's the front right hand side. So we're facing it now, as you can see there. And then we fill this in so there's a one space in the middle. We're going to put glass in that one. So this is the front side. Now we get our grey wool. 
put one, two, three there, and one, two, three there, just like that. Beautiful. Now I'm on the inside, starting from the, the grey wool, one, two, three, you just cover the back of it. Now we're going to replicate exactly what's on the other side there. So I think I put two here, but really it's three away. So it's three, one, two, three there. So you count one, two, three from the top roof and join it up like that. And then we replicate exactly what's on the front. So we put this black wool, gray wool, sorry. Just making sure all the time that it's on point. I mean, even if you go wrong here, it doesn't really matter because, um, you know, the way the building, the back of the building's different anyway. So, one, two, three, four. And then we fill all that in. And then we've got our one gap. And then we fill all this in. So just fill that all the way to the top. Just like that. Those damn boulders again. So that's what it should look like so far. So this is the front of the building and this is the back. So this is the back of the building. Now we count one, two, three, going up, level with that, and then we go in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it should meet up with the ninth one with grey wool as at the other side. It should meet up with the grey barriers. One, two, three, four with the quartz. And then the grey, we're just replicating exactly what's on the other side for these wool bits. One, two, three, four. And then we've got the wool going up there. Just like that. Just like that. Now we bring this wall up. I want this wall completely filled. This is going to be the kitchen area in there. Um, I've just kind of done a simple furniture sort of thing for you guys. Um, I've left a room on top. I'm going to leave that unfurnished so you can do whatever you like. Now you fill this layer all the way around it's just half slab of quartz going all the way around so it's just on that top layer and it should look like that so it'll just have a rim going all the way around and we do the same on the top part so we go all the way around just fill it all in all the way around so it should have like a little lip where the the quartz is on the top so it'll look like that just remember you keep pausing you know, if you're stuck, you can always rewind it. Re re rewind. That's right. Now we get our glass panes. And we're going to fill these ones. These are on the the back. And these ones, we're going to make little doors out of them. So we just put two up at each side. Just put them going up. This is um, the black glass panes, but you can use normal glass panes. And here we just fill it all in. But this next one we are going to use we're going to break these because i want to make a cool little door so we put two like that and then when we put a fence post in which is the oak fence post it just looks like a little sliding door which i think looks quite cool and we do exactly the same replicate what you've done on the other side so i'll just get rid of this bit because i'm just freestyling all this it's completely freestyle so I haven't planned it out or anything like that so it's, I've just gone straight away with it and see what I could build and I came up with this so and there so now what we want to do is fill these top parts in get the glass going on that I think I'm gonna do some open sliding doors on the the big bit we'll try this no let's see it doesn't look as good I mean you can do that if you do like it but I'm not too keen myself so you don't put it all the way across to this because we're going to put some sliding doors but this is just to find a center because you'll waste glass just like that and then you put your fence post in at each side that's looking really nice now we get our half slab of quartz and we start from the grey wool and we just run it all the way around and we want to fill in these little bits as well so I mean you can leave them open um, you could maybe do like little cross bits where it looks like there's little air vents underneath there Just whatever you prefer like at the end of the day you want to kind of adapt it So it's kind of your build as well. So it's not just copying so you kind of getting inspiration from the build 
so you can always add to this build and stuff like that i'd love to send some pictures over on instagram or twitter if you you make a garden to this or something like that and you you adapt it right so we fill in this wall this is the front of the building just fill in the wall like that beautiful now we'll break this all the way through this is going to be a doorway I think for this floor, I think what I'm going to do is do maybe a birch floor. I really like the birch floor um, in a modern build. I think it looks really nice. So we'll try that. We'll put um, in these in coves, we'll put our clay, yellow clay, and then we we'll put some bushes on top of it as well. I'll just see, see, I'll just play around with ideas and see what works and stuff like that. So I'll put some across here, put some around here to join it. And then um, I think I'll bring these out one more, the, the spruce just like that the doorway just bring those out and join them on yeah I think that looks good so yeah you can adapt it how you want you could maybe go, make it stepping down in the garden have some steps going round uh, I'm just gonna put a bush all the way around it for you guys because I want you guys to try and get creative and send send me some stuff over on Twitter and you know see what you've done um, and then we get this and if it's good and I like it I'll retweet it out for you guys and stuff like that I'll probably retweet it out anyway if it's good or not but yeah so we get bushes either side just like that just to fill it up I think that's looking rather nice rather nice so even if you want to do the inside yourself or anything like that but we're gonna get the birch floor so you can pause it now I'll just do it quickly there it's all done so it's a bit dark in here it's a bit dingy but you can do it however you like if you want just a plain house like this and just fill it with chests you know why not right let's see what we can do right so we'll fill the top because the roof roof of loof what the hell's a loof the roof will be leaking so we start it from the beginning there and then just fill it all the way up so just I'll speed it up zoom 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 like that so you've just got a little edge there and that'll just stop the roof leaking in from the the garden on the roof that damn leaky roof again so we count one two one two on the second one we put it there this is the gray wool and we put it through so we count one two and another gap oh my god i just made a hole in my beautiful new house and then gray one two one two so we just fill these all the way to the top just like that take these take the this slab out on the roof so it fits and then we bring it out one more we take that slab out so we do the same for all of these steadily does it that's right god damn hurry up just like that and then what we need now is some glowstone we'll get some glowstone we'll put it behind light it up i think we should do some light glitches and stuff like that i think it'll look quite cool so you can keep it dark but I will light it up later this is going to go dark in a minute because I'm going to fill it up so you fill it up half slab like this and it gives it a really really nice ambient effect so you put it on like that as soon as you've got all three of them on you'll you'll see how much it changes it does change the color a hell of a lot it looks really nice just like that oh devil magnifique magnifique and then we get this filled in and then we put three along the bottom like that and then we put half slabs there joining on another three and we put one on top and then two either side like that so it looks like it's the whole back wall we'll do the same for this but we'll fill it in this little hole that we left here there we go one two one two one two right now we'll get the yellow clay again and we'll use that for the plant pots Right, let's put two there and then we'll get our bush get that bush on get that bush everybody loves a bit of bush look at that beautiful yeah I think that looks quite nice so you could leave it open part plan it could be a whole big living room but I'm just going to do a kitchen within this bit so we'll join it on one two three four and the other side's five but I'm gonna have to yeah one two three four one two three four get rid of that and then we join it to the top put it all the way across this is going to be like the 
the divider between the kitchen and the living room. So now we'll do the kitchen. The kitchen? No, we're not. Yes, we are. I don't know. What do we do? The kitchen, of course. Right, so now what we're going to do is going to get there. Hmm. We could do something for the roof as well. We could do one of those fan things coming down. We could probably use that with the hopper. Let's have a look. We could do this as well. This is we'll just light it up here. Obviously, I'm using redstone things. If you're using something else, if you're in survival, you can use a redstone torch and just put it underneath. It's a lot cheaper instead of having to make them into massive blocks. Who would do that? Crazy man. A crazy man with no use for redstone whatsoever. He made a redstone lamp once. And he's like, ah, I've got plenty. I'm rich. And just bang all these down. Just completely glitch out my world. So hopefully you get little tips from this. You don't have to do it exactly like this. But this is just an idea for people who are starting up or people who just want a little bit of inspiration what to do. Um, so right, I think this is a really good idea, right? We get doors and we put them here and they look like little cupboards. So we'll get like some, um, we'll get some furnaces and put them behind here. So when you open up the little doors, which will only look like a half door and it'll look like a little cupboard. You'll see in a minute. So I'll put the furnaces here and you can still cook in these and put the doors behind here. And when you put something on top of it, it just looks like a half drawer, you know? So instead of using it for a normal door, I think maybe it's a little bit of inspiration for you there, maybe. We'll fill this up and uh, we'll fill it up to the top, so. We'll delete the other side as well, so we've just got like a three in there, so it matches the other side as well, so. Get rid of that. I mean, you can keep it like that, so you've got even more places to cook with your furnace. So as you can see, it looks exactly the same as that side. So then you can open up your drawers and then you can cook your stuff in there. All right, so we've got some oak. Um, stairs and put them there now for this middle bit let's see we'll get our oak wood oak plank sorry and then we'll get a stairs as well so we'll get them like that it's just in the middle of the kitchen doesn't, doesn't have to be exactly here and then just a, a little ingove like that and it looks like a little sink and then we get a little lever and put a lever on the side it looks like a little tap going into it and then I know it's expensive but you can put a hopper on here and it kind of looks like um, it's one of those fan things or something like that so let's see we'll get some pressure plates now we'll put some pressure plates on here here and here here and here and then we'll put them all along here just like a, a little cabinet thing yeah it's looking rather nice right should we get some carpet let's get some carpet down let's get some uh, light grey carpet and then we'll put two here, two rows, and then run it all the way around. Just so it's like an odd carpet. It's, everything doesn't have to be even all the time. There's quite a lot of people with OCD on Minecraft. You, uh, a lot of the better builders would build like completely just obscure and especially with placing your bushes and stuff. So we'll put some carpets on top of there, put some on top of this pressure plate and it just looks like it's like a little drawer. You could probably do it in the dark grey as well so it'd match the, the wall. So I think that's okay with the kitchen. I'm just doing this a really quick sort of, um, you know, lounge and kitchen and stuff like that. If you, you look at some of my other videos, I've got like some kitchen and living room designs. I'll put them in the description and there's a little video and I've got like five different setups where I've got like um, just elaborate kitchen designs and bathroom designs and stuff like that so I'll put that in this, the description for you guys I'm also working on another project as well which is a crazy let's build series where I will build at my best ability for whatever you guys want me to build so I'll put that in the description as well at the moment I've built a full home cinema it's huge absolutely elaborate completely massive and yeah, you guys just comment below what you want it to be next. Like maybe, oh, I want a bowling alley. I want something like this. And I'll make it.